a little vigil today to commemorate the death of a migrant detainee at the prison for migrants in Laval. The migrants detained there have been sounding the alarms about the conditions there uh, for years now. So now to hear that someone has died there, uh, it's just so frustrating and it also just makes it feel like this was so foreseeable and preventable. I think we were all just feeling really outraged and feeling like we just had to do something. We don't really know anything about the circumstances of this person's death because, of course, the CBSA themselves refuses to disclose any information about it. It's actually only recently that they've even begun announcing deaths in their custody. Previously, they never did that. Uh, until recently, uh, the only way to know that people died is if a, a family member or someone who knew about this decided to go public. But what we do know is that this person died alone on the, on the floor of a cell. And no matter what the circumstances or the reasons that they died, that just didn't have to be the case. After the first wave of the pandemic, when the detention center was essentially empty, like there was basically uh, nobody who was detained there. And so it just kind of really begs the question, you know, the, the CBSA and the government tries to offer all of these explanations as justifications for putting migrants in prison. Uh, they say it's about our security and things like this. Well, for these several month period, when they actually did just stop detaining migrants, there were no threats to our security materializing. None, none of the things that they warned us against were actually real problems. And so to me, it just really underlined what we kind of knew already, which is that detention of migrants, it's not necessary and it is incredibly unjust. We're not really interested in improving the conditions of detention uh, because there's no reason to detain people in the first place. When we're talking about, for instance, putting migrant children in prison, we don't really care how nice their cage is. Um, you know, when, when it became a big issue in the United States and people were talking about things like access to toothpaste and things like this, you know, if it was your child and your child was put in a cage, would you be reassured to know that in that cage they had toothpaste? Personally, I wouldn't be at all. I would just say, no, we just shouldn't be putting people in cages.